What's up guys, this is Cher talking, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, let's talk about Deathmath in the Start Realm. This new attacks event that was made to suffer. That's right, it's extremely hard in romancing difficulty. I got pretty close of getting, I don't know, to 80% of the fight, but I made bad mistakes and died. So, instead of running the romancing difficulty, let's talk about the stage 20, because this is enough for most people. You get some good gens, you also get gold pieces, and also promotion scrolls. Well, later, we'll get better status, and if you are missing out some characters, you can do it later. So, this fight here, you have to fight versus Aberration Supreme, and it will copy skills from all of the Divine Beasts. Starting from his own version, then he goes for Hiveris, then he goes for Berlot Syrah, then Hardy, then Orlete, then Razen, and then for last he goes back to his original form. Well, it will try to do LP damage with some skills, but also on the end of the turn, we choose a random of your characters to steal LP, and, well, has 7 HP gods. It will change difficulty based on versions. Hardy and Orlete seems to be very hard, maybe Razen as well and weaknesses will change as well so it will be the same as the divine beasts forms it's hard because you have to protect yourself versus way too many different stuff in order to survive so i suggest you to equip your characters by fixing their problems but also trying to give at least uh, something about everything you can see here how i equipped my characters to try to have some resistance it's not perfect well i cannot cover it all but uh, I am bringing Mirza and Valdor. Valdor is weak to heat, so I have to protect versus heat. And Mirza negates uh, shadow damage. We don't need to give him shadow resistance. And there is Razen. Uh, Rock Bouquet needs something like the Proof of War Tower to give her more resistance so that she can trigger her uh, intrinsic passive. Well, Mirrors as well, so these characters are the best ones to bring here. Characters that can actually get defense boost during the fight. So I prefer to use the real information, but Rising Phoenix EX, Sir Focus EX, all of this will work as, as well, but depends on your squad, how many buffs you want. I prefer to go with real buffs more than other stuff, so I brought Razen so that he keeps using Relief Zone. I also have Valdor to decrease DP cost. It's very important here, and Valdor also brings defense boosts. If you don't have Valdor, you can bring either Gustave or Death. Razen is a new character, everyone has him, but I am here using Relief Zone and sometimes Merciful Light. I prefer to bring Maria because she buffs all status and has Scrum Guard. If you just want stage 20, you can also use Witch's Daughter. You can also use Muse. Rock Bouquet can be replaced by also Aspergal. That's very likely to work. It's much better even. The Dia and also the newest Matra. Those characters will be uh, the similar results for this slot. And as my damage dealer, I'm bringing Mirza, but you can also try to bring, for example, Sumir. That's very strong. And even Bertrand if you want. Since I'm bringing characters that have intrinsic, I will bring them to the back row and I'll use other three characters in the front lines. Well, with all that said, let's go to the fight. So why did I choose Rurin? Because this increases agility and also decreases damage taken from the first three characters in the front line. If they attack first, page 20 will be attacking first most of the time. Aberration Supreme will cast Curse on you and Curse will remove your buffs and will also... I can even start differently since this is star stage 20. Sunlight like Blow. Uh, I will not even use High Spirity Pawn yet. Spound. Razen is just going to use something like... White Wolf Strike to save VP. Mirza uses Heroic Stance and Rock Bouquet will use Lightning Crash. We'll cast this curse so I don't need to have buffs. But after that, I can cleanse via Relief Zone. We even got combo with his characters, that's right. Because this is stage 20. If he was romancing stage, I would have to use some buffs to protect the party. But, well, you're already doing some good damage here. <laughs> with weak skills. How different is this from romancing? And you can even avoid curse if you have intrinsic abilities. But now, I will just start using Golden Dragon Dance. High Spirit Palm. I can cast Relief Zone if I want defensive buffs. I use another Heroic Stance. And Rock Bouquet will just keep using Lightning of Darkness. Aspergal is better in most situations because she removes buffs. Rock Bouquet is better when a boss does not self-buff too much. But all of these bosses are buffing themselves too much. That's why... 
debuff meta is back. So every turn you use relief zone so that you remove the debuffs applied on you on start of each turn. And if you are debuffing with Rock Bouquet, Aberration Supreme will do less damage, will be slower, it will be much better for you. Okay, so you can use Resin for healing as well, but I will actually try to do more damage with my uh, Resonate Regent Blade now and Left Fork. Left Fork will be just 9 BP now that I use it two times in a row, my Hikes Pretty Pump. And I'm increasing damage as well. Block. Lots of damage. Aberration Supreme will try to stun you and heal you after you get stunned because you lose all your passives. But that will happen depending on his HP or if you are close to 5th or 6th turns. 5 or 6 turns. That's right. It also tries to buff your wheel, but in stage 20 it will not work. Especially if you have well trained characters. Now, use your best skills again. You can even use Resonant Radiant Blade, another left fork, or just Silver Light Fangs. I think I'll use Silver Light Fangs because it will be enough to kill Operation Supreme. So we save BP for the next round. And once we kill it, it will steal LP from one random ally. That's right, exactly what we wanted. We even chase it. But Mirza when chases, he gets attack boosts. And also. Whoa. And also uh, does more damage. Stole LP from Rock Okay, It's okay. As long as it does not always choose the same target. This time I'll be using left fork. I don't have BP decrease with my Baldur now. Only on the next turn. This is now Hiveris phase. Weak to Blunt. So, actually, after this cast, I'll be using my Relief Zone since Relief Zone is Blunt. Just that I'm trying to do more damage with Mirrors as well. This form is not that strong, although it self buffs a lot, but it's more about defense. If we cast uh, defense boosts, it will keep buffing endurance and will tries to stun you as well if you don't have will buffs. And we'll try to do LP damage when it's close to die. Okay, high spirit. Oh, now I'm gonna use relief zone and another left work. Get pretty close of healing in the next turn, I guess. Well, double relief zone, that's nice. Better damage, better buffs. Debuff. I don't know if I can use another left fork because of BP, but if I could, it would totally die to the next turn. Yeah, everyone is on overdrive, but I'll be saving this. It's no need. Frost Rush tries to stun, but I have good will. Our HP is pretty high now. A little relief zone, and well, you have to use Valiant Flat Slash now. And keep using Lightning of Darkness because of the AVP cost not being high since we have Valder. If you don't have Valder, well, bring Death and forget about the AVP cost and all. You do pretty much the same, just having shorter, I mean, longer cycles of skills. Frozen Sin can Petrify as well. Ice Spear Storm. It's the LP damage attack that I just got hit with because it was just getting close to death. You can try to do damage with Overdrive to avoid getting hit with this. I don't think it will use again, but I saw it using more than once. <laughs> so we are doing stage 20. This is not that much of a problem. But this is also the form that is most defensive. Relief Zone. If I had 
gotten a uh, chase, it would have just killed it then. That's okay, because we, we win this turn and get some good BP back. Let's use, I don't know, Sunlight Blow. Um, White Wolf Strike. Valiant Slash. And Lightning Crash. Save BP. And it would choose another one of your characters to steal LP from. Will be this time. Maria. Oh, a different target. That's okay. As long as it does not focus on the same one. Now, Overdrive. Put in Dragon Dance. High Spirit Palm. Resident Radiant Blade. Left Fork. This form now, actually, I can. Now I will be using Left Fork first. Then I'll be using Silver Light Fangs after the first Left Fork. Uh, this form here is Merlot Syrah, so deals lots of Pierce and Lightning damage. And it starts weak, gets stronger pretty fast. It can also do LP damage if it gets close to death. So pay attention to the HP gauge if you feel like you're going to get hit with LP. I'll well, use Overdrive close to the end, but I don't think I'll need because Raul well, is going to destroy this boss in three turns. Oh, well, even got a cheese. You're going to see the next usage of uh, SQ. Doesn't even need to be left for it now. Is it weak to sun? And here's a, it's master of sun damage. Another high spirit upon. Another reason it's radiant blade. And this time it will be silver light fangs. Let's see how much damage we get. I think it will be around 600,000. It's just one hit. <laughs> we even got a full combo. But, oh, sadly, we'll not get a chase. You can already see by the number of uh, attacks you see in the combo. I think I'll need another turn. Or maybe not. Maybe not. No, I won't need another turn. 690,000. Stealing LP for another target. That's nice. I don't know if there's... Um, different chances depending on formation, I don't think so. So now it's all about using our best skills. Valdor does not have enough PP, but I still have the effect. I will use Left Fork now because it's weak to Slash, and this time it's Hardy. And Hardy deals insane amounts of damage. So if you have a debuffer, this would be nice because it self buffs. It does have a different cycle between turns, but if he uses that skill number two or skill number three from Hardy, you're gonna suffer. If you have been using uh, your Regent Blade, you have some defense boost that will help you survive on the damage. Uh, but you can also use Relief Zone to cast Endurance buffs. I think defense boost is better, but it also depends on the attacks that it uses in this form. Well, I didn't use the strongest attacks. I still have some good stuff here. I'll use another reason to Radiant Blade, just so that maybe we can win. It's also weak to Lightning, so Rock is doing more damage here. And reason to Radiant Blade is Slash. Maybe it helps a little? Yes. Surely would die before I have to use another left fork. But it's pretty fast because you can see that it's attacking before some of my characters. Stole LP from Valdor. Well, a different target each time. Now, Ice Pretty Palm. This time it's weak to cold. We don't have cold damage here. Uh, and we have to go for Relief Zone now. Never stop using Relief Zone. This is. Orlete. Orlete is all about trying to inflict ailments on you. I didn't say, but I'm bringing ailments accessory, of course, in this fight. Besides proof of word power. It's not that important in stage 20, but just so you know. Switch to your endurance heal buffs when you see Orlete. Well, she's not gonna survive too much. Because Mirza is rocking. Try to apply. Analyze. Now it's just damage. It's big damage. 
this just damage it's damage again but this applies in the off turn damage like burn status okay we still have lots of hp leaf zone again i could just use a silver light fangs but i guess i'll save a little after this form it's resin form Razen is only weak to fire damage. I don't have it here. So my Mirza will have to cycle lots of left fork in order to do lots of damage. It's better if I save. Some bow skills as well. Incineration can instant kill you. This is piercing heat. You can actually start saving VP now that it's dying. That's what I'm gonna do. I will also go for White Wolf Strike for now. I don't think I'm gonna get inflicted with ailments anyway. Especially because Rock is here debuffing as well. It helps. Release zone. Now, next turn, it will be dead. Try to paralyze. Try to inflict berserk. Damage. That's it. It will all be over now. This turn. Just using quick skills. Who will it choose as a target to steal LP now? Manage to buff. Present. Now we can go back to our fast rotations. Because it's Razen form that uses lots of buffs. You should keep relief zone now because there's instant kill chance. And all your left forks, my friend. All of it as soon as possible. As soon as you get with this form, it will be back to the original. See how many status he self buffed? That's stupid. Hence so why it's nice to have Halloween Asperg out here. She will debuff and remove all buffs applied. Well, one more uh, left fork and it will die. That's good. There's full light. Doesn't buff intelligence like the resin fight. That's okay. Gonna use resonant radiant blade because it's already over. Just to increase a little more damage. Yeah, Mirza won't even need to hit for all 5 hits. Gonna chase. I think Mirza only needs 3 hits now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Well, he needed all of it. Now it's stole from Mirza. It's nice on their target. And now it's the last form. Let's go, Aberration Supreme. Gonna die by the hands of Mirza. It's good to go back to Relief Zone, but the next turn. Not this turn yet. I think it will cast Curse again. But we'll see. Nice. Very nice. By turn 22, we'll be finished. For sure. That's right. Back to start of a fight. First, you now use Relief Zone. But even use Light of the Sun just for fun. Great. 
Relief Zone. Relief Zone again. Removing debuffs applied. Maybe if Mirza chases, we win. Maybe. He will chase. It will not be enough. Yeah. But now he can win. I think Weaving is his overdrive so that we see him finishing the enemy by himself. That's the only real damage dealer here. Sometimes Brazil was helping though. Yeah. Do it. Finish him off. So this is stage 20. Not that hard. And I believe most people should stop here. I can see uh, win after I try uh, some more strategies on the romancing stage but it's a lot of rng a lot of headache this is not for everyone this is a permanent content so don't stress yourself out too much like gethard say don't push yourself too hard my friends thanks so much for watching this video hope this can help you and please click the like button subscribe and leave a comment if you try to do romancing how hard it is for you well i hope to see you soon in the next video or next live stream bye